seeing is believing I'm pretty sure you can notice the difference there and that was done with just sandpaper and toothpaste I have to go to my girlfriend's house and get my wax I left it over there but that is a drastic difference you got cataracts on the left and you got new vision on the right so a uh, couple of techniques to show just how good this thing looks There's a bunch of runoff putting my hand up there. And let's see what we started out with. Terrible haze. Uh, yellow. I imagine this happens from generating all the heat may even be some type of organism growing on the surface I have no idea but I do know that it is going on that side man does that thing look gorgeous so I cut the sandpaper in half I fold it in half start out with the uh, grittiest or lower numeric from 1500 which is right here and I use it uh, Obviously, I'm not going to touch this, scrub it, but, uh, you know, first you just kind of lightly go like this, and then you go this way, and then you go this way, and you get in these little crevices. Make sure you get all around the edges, and up top here was yellow, because that'll make it yellow. I still have a little bit of yellowing over on the edges, because I can't get underneath there. It's behind the lens, I believe, on the other side. I don't feel like taking it apart. This is good enough for me. Uh, good enough for government work, as my grandfather says. Um, and uh, you put the wax on to protect it. Uh, but anyway, you go through. This light has a couple of chips on it. Man, this looks so much better. It took me, uh, oh, I don't know, an hour or so. Probably a little longer, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so 1500. And you do those motions like I said, and then you take the hose and you hold the water over it and you rub it all off and clean. Get everything clean, clean your sandpaper, um, you know, is it ambidextrous or amphidextrous? I think it's ambidextrous. Make sure you use both hands. So you use this one, get all the way over here, and come over to the other side and use your other hand. Obviously I'm holding the camera, so I use my left hand on this side and right hand on the other side. When you do that, when you put your hand up here, you may be picking up dirt, so pay attention. Because um, then all of a sudden you'll get dirt and rocks or something and you'll scratch the headlight. So try to avoid doing that. Uh, and then you use one side and once you wash it off, flip it over, do it again two times. It should be smooth. You know, at first you put light pressure, you know, just to get most of the stuff off. And then you put hard pressure on there. Really get in there. Uh, and then again run the hose over it while you're using the sandpaper to clean it off step up uh, make sure you keep going back for your soapy water continue using soapy water keep it lubricated uh, and uh, I usually hold my sandpaper like this you know so that I can get on there and sometimes I'll have to flip it around because it really likes me to be on the crease because otherwise it'll start to open up and slide like that um, but do that one time on this side, and then when you wash it all off, flip it over, use the other side of the same paper. And I cut this in half, so my other half, I'm going to do the same exact thing on that headlight. So I got two sets of clean sandpaper per headlight. So it's about $2.50 per headlight in sandpaper. Do the same technique on 2000, 2500. Then take your toothpaste. This is what I used, and just run a little line down the center of it, and then pull it away, get it all over. Um, I just used a Hanes sock, you know, buff it in circular, you know, pulling it away from the center line, and then buff it out, and then get the middle part and buff over to the edges again, and make sure you do circular mo motions on this because you're polishing it and 
this is what you'll end up with. And this costs about five dollars in sandpaper from 3M at AutoZone and uh, soapy water. I mean, you got a bucket, you got a hose, you got water, you got soap, you got that, so your sandpaper won't clog up. Masking tape, you can get that for probably 99 cents. Unless you got a real nice car, get the blue masking tape for three bucks or so. Uh, toothpaste, go to your neighbor's house, we don't have any. And uh, go steal your brother, your uncle's sock, your dad. And uh, they'll probably get over it once they see how much better your car looks. So that's how you end up shining up a headlight for less than 15 bucks, a lot of elbow grease. I think you get better results than uh, probably the kits they give you.